Hello, friends. I am here with you today with the intention of speaking a wonderful poem written in prose by the late poet Max Ehrman. The work has an original publication date of 1927, and it is titled Desiderata, or Of the Desired. This poem is my absolute favorite piece of writing, and I am thankful and happy I can share it with you today. I chose this poem for mindfulness because of its use of vivid imagery, balancing of juxtaposed ideas, and its prominent positivity. I hope you enjoy my reading of Desiderata, which will be accompanied by tranquil music and the chirps of birds. Let's begin by finding ourselves in a comfortable seated position. We may place the soles of our feet flat on the ground or cross our legs. Maintain an erect spine centered over the pelvis. And from the top of our head to our neck, on the exhale, let us relax. From our neck into our shoulders, on the exhale, let us relax. From our shoulders into our arms, let us relax. From our arms into our hands, let us relax. From our wrists and through the tips of our fingers, let us relax. The sounding of a gong will signal the beginning, and we will start with five paced and intentional breaths, with the exhale longer than the inhale. Intend for an exhale out of the mouth for six to seven seconds. With an inhale through the nose of four to five seconds. This is called a cleansing breath. I will count the breath between inhale and exhale. There will be a small pause and I will then read the poem. For mindful practices, maintain a steady breath, settling into a natural rhythm. Be aware of bodily sensations that arise and ask yourself, how do I feel now? Then, with all intent and focus, allow the poem to inspire and find symmetry with each of your individual lives. At the sound of the gong, we begin with our breaths. Go placidly amid the noise and the haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence, as far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly, and listen to others, even to the dull and the ignorant, they too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons, they are vexatious to the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain or bitter, for always there will be a greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself, especially do not feign affection. Neither be cynical about love, for in the face of all aridity and disenchantment, it is as perennial as the grass. Take kindly the counsel of years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune, but do not distress yourself with dark imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. 
Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God, whatever you conceive him to be. And whatever your labors and aspirations in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace in your soul. With all its sham, drudgery, and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful. Strive to be happy. Max Ehrman, Desi Dorada, 